Hello class. Today we are going to learn how to use this tool for math. It's called a ruler. and We're going to use this to learn how to measure lines in inches and in half inches. So for today's lesson you're going to need a ruler. You'll also need your pencil and the handouts for today which can be found from the website www.a to z teacherstuff.com so now that we have our stuff let's get started now what we're looking at here is a close-up of a ruler that we have in our classroom now there's some things we need to know about this ruler before we start using it to measure our line segments one thing is that the ruler has two sides the side that we're going to be working with has the big numbers, like the 0, 1, 2, goes all the way up to the 12. The side that we're working with also has all these little tiny lines in between. This is the side that uses inches, and we can see the label for inch here. Remember inches, big numbers, lots of tiny lines. The other side of the ruler is in centimeters, and the centimeters, the numbers are a lot closer together like we see with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's not nearly as many little lines in between. We also see the label CM, which means centimeters. We can just see just for comparison, here's the inches, really far apart, centimeters really close together. The other thing we need to know about a ruler is where do we start when we need to measure a line segment? Well, on a ruler like we have in our classroom, we have this empty space at the beginning, which is exactly what I said, empty, means nothing. We start with the zero. Zero is our starting point for anything that we're going to measure. So when we need to measure a line, we need to start by putting the zero at the beginning of the line and then measuring to the end to find out how long the line segment is. On some rulers that some of you may have bought at a store or brought from home, you might not have that space like this ruler. This ruler starts right away with the zero. There is no empty space in the beginning, so you need to make sure that you know what your ruler has. If there's no empty space, start at the beginning. If there is an empty space, make sure you start at the zero. The next thing we need to know is how do we measure the actual line segments, which we're going to get to next in your first set of handouts. So let's take a look at your handouts and figure out how we measure lines using inches. And these papers were found on the internet at a website called www.a to z teacherstuff.com. And you do a search on there for measuring lines in inches, and we also have one here on half inches, so we'll get to it in a little bit. Now here is our first set of handouts from the website that I mentioned. We're going to start with numbers 1 and 2, work on those together, and then you will work on the rest on your own for some extra practice. So let's take a look here at number 1. First thing we do, we take our ruler, we put it straight underneath. We're not going to put our ruler directly on top of. We're not going to angle it like a slide or like a ladder. We want it perfectly straight and level underneath it. We also want to make sure do not start with the empty spot at the beginning. Slide your ruler down so that you start with the zero. Now I have my ruler correctly positioned. I can measure that first line segment. I'm starting here at zero, follow it to the end, and it ends right here, which is a one inch line segment. So I'm going to write one inch on that top line. That lets me know that's a one inch line segment. Now if you measured with the empty spot in the beginning, you see that the one is over here. And if you, that's where you measured, you're not going to have a one inch line segment. It's shorter than one inch. So you can see how crucial it is that you start with the zero at the beginning. Let's take a look at number two. Again, not the empty space. Start with the zero at the beginning straight underneath the line just like so. Don't slide it down, don't put your ruler directly on top of, you want it directly underneath so it's straight. Start at the zero, follow it to the end, and I end up here which is a three. So that tells me this is a three inch line segment. Okay, 
Well, I would like you to finish numbers 3 through 10 on your own for some extra practice. And when you are all done, you may come up and compare your answers to the answer sheet that I have and see how well you did. Now for the next part of our lesson, I'd like to talk to you about measuring in half inches. And half inches are going to be one of these smaller lines in between the big numbers. And the half inch is the really big one in between. We can tell it apart in two ways. First way is it's the biggest line in between the numbers. That's one of the easier ways. The second way is it is exactly halfway between each set of numbers. In this case, it's halfway between 0 and 1. Over here, it's halfway between 1 and 2. And these are your half inch marks. So if this is 0, this is going to be 1 half inch. Here's our 1 inch. This will be 1, because we have passed the 1, and 1 half inch. 2 inches. This is halfway between 2 and 3, so it will be 2 and 1 half inches. So the half inch lines are the really big lines in between the numbers. They're very big and they're halfway between each set of numbers. Now on that other ruler I showed you, which is my special ruler, we can see that it already has the half inches labeled on it, which is really nice for this ruler. But this is a ruler I'm not going to let you use. You need to figure out where the half inch marks are and get used to measuring with half inches. Once you get older and the lines get harder to see, then you can come out and get one of these special kind of rulers which will make it easier for you. So now that we've talked about the half inches, let's get some practice in and measure some lines with some half inches. And here is our next paper for our handouts. In this paper, we're going to be measuring lines using inches and half inches. So it's going to be a mix of both. So you're going to have to be really good with your measuring skills. We're going to skip by number one because the line is too big to fit on the camera screen here. So we're going to skip down to two and three and work on those together. So we're going to start with number two. And again, when we measure, we lay our ruler flat underneath the line. Do not start with that empty space in the beginning. Slide it down so zero is at the beginning. Now zero is at the beginning. I follow it down to the end and it ends up on this line, which is this big line here. If you remember that big line halfway between zero and one is a half inch. So I'm going to write one half inch. That lets me know this line is a half inch line segment. So let's check number three. I move my ruler down to number three. Again, straight underneath, not angled, not on top of. Empty space does not start. Slide your ruler down so zero starts at the beginning of the line. So my zero is at the beginning of the line. My ruler is directly underneath and it's nice and straight. Here's my zero, follow the line to the end, and there's where it ends. Looks like it's at that big line between two and three. Do you remember what that would be? Well, that would be two and one half inches. So we're going to write two and one half inch. That lets me know it's a two and one half inch line segment. So be careful. Remember, like I said, this paper has inches and half inches. So make sure you're very careful and precise with your measurements. What I'd like you to do is go back to number one and then finish also numbers four through ten. And when you're all done again, come check your answers against the answer sheet and see how, they, see how you did. Well, that's all that we have for today. I hope you learned a lot and you know how to measure your line segments much better after today's lesson. Thanks for watching.